And it, apparently, the CFP committee members don't appreciate the Big 12, the parity that is in the Big 12. What are your thoughts on Boise State being ranked ahead of, heck, Arizona State, Kansas State? Pick a, a Big 12 team that has a better strength of schedule than Boise State. But your thoughts on it, Ms. KP, can you pull your I mean, it, it, You know, it, it depends on what each committee member values. Is it strength of schedule? Is it strength of record? Is it the eye test? Is it brand association? I mean, if you if you if you think that the Big Twelve, you know, it's it's considered one of the power four conferences, you know, so you may even subconsciously think that it's tougher to be a conference champ. You know, if you're in the Big 12, I mean, because you you see, you know, every week, I mean, there's nobody, there's no one team that is no longer undefeated, you know, in the Big 12. So, you know, that may say, are, do you say it's watered down or do you just say it's that competitive? Well, depending on the conference, apparently, because if you beat up on each other in the Big 12, see, the conference isn't very good. But if you don't beat up on each other in the SEC, See how the balance, see how, see how competitive every team and every game means something in that conference. Why is that, KP? What's the difference? It's, it's who, who have your national champions been? If you, if you take, take away Michigan. Right. Yeah, you know, Georgia, Alabama. Yeah, yeah. Say, yeah. So he who owns the gold makes the rules. Yeah. Yeah. That's not right. That, and that's one of the reasons why I, I have for years pulled away from college football. And it's just not, it's before the CFP expanded to 12 and soon to be 14, 16, 24, if the SEC continues to, you know, cannibalize itself and Commissioner Sankey wants to get as many teams <laughs> as possible from his conference in there, he's gonna have to make it grow and grow and grow. It's just, you know, it used to be an invitational and you just invite, two teams from the SEC, you know, and then maybe a team from the Big Ten. And then maybe, oh, you folks from the that other conference, of, you know, the Pac-12 or the Big 12 or the ACC, we might consider you. We might deem you worthy. But now it's different. Now top four teams get a bye, get to host, you know, a second round matchups. There's a chance. There is a chance. The nine-way tiebreaker, the nine teams, nine Big 12 teams still available, still eligible for it to win the conference championship. <laughs> wow. But there's with, a chance. With one game left to play. With one game left to play, there's a chance that the Big 12 does not have any team in the CFP 12, based on what happens with Tulane and you know other schools. If the Big 12, the wrong Big 12 teams win and advance to the, the, the college championship, the conference championship, where who's performing? For the Big 12, who was it? Uh, Neo. Hmm. Brad Yomark, you know, getting that culture vibe with the fans and everything like that. But it just, it needs to be better. I hope it'll work out for the football fans and the followers of the Big 12. Commissioner Yomark made some comments earlier in the week to Yahoo Sports, Ross Dallinger. Look at the data. Look at the data. I mean, the data says that the Big 12 deserves to be ahead of Boise State. But as you said, it's subjective. What do, you, mm -hmm. what do the committee members value? KP, it should not be that difficult. <laughs> I mean, head-to-head -head ranking, rankings, strength of schedule, who you beat, all those things should matter. Yes, Boise State took Oregon down to the wire. But that's other than that, the rest of their games, they haven't really played anybody as tough as the teams in the Big 12. That shouldn't matter. That should, And that should not be subjective. You should see that. They're getting credit for the Oregon performance. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That is carry, still carrying them thus far. Yeah, they I mean, struggle hey, with the hey, 2 and I mean, Wyoming. That, that and, and the individual performance of Ashton Gente. I mean, yes. you go over 2,000 yards. Oh, yes. I mean, but again, the quality of competition in which he's accomplishing that mark. It, it should matter. And you look at numbers is, and there's human beings involved. So there's egos involved. 
personalities involved. Sometimes just look at let the computer do it. But even the computers, you the how do computers get their information? Get a From program. Humans. You got a program. Mm -hmm. So there's still gonna be some bias in it anyway along those lines. Yeah. Uh, whoever whoever codes it. Yeah. 